Yeah. Here, it looks. Oh, that's nice. So, what's the interview about? Um, I ask you what you like about this area. <laughs> Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I'm here in uh, Kent Avenue in North First Street. Um, I'm here with Gaia. Today I'm asking her uh, what she likes about this area. Um, I mean, I like the, the ice cream and the thrift shops, even though they're kind of expensive. But, I mean, I would suggest to come here if you've never came, especially if you're a tourist. They have good, like, murals and it's, like, aesthetic. It's a nice area. Feel free to pick them up too. Thank you, thank you. Can the small bonds too? Yeah, I do. It's all, uh, it's all made out of ceramic. Uh, these, I make them on the wheel, every single piece. From the piece itself, the small the stem on the inside, and the mouth piece. Check out the Instagram, that's right. What's your name? Rita. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about your art? Yeah, like I always do like something about feelings and relationships and all of that stuff. So, like all my project is focused on that. Uh, like like about feeling, like about God's thing, you know? <laughs> I like the, uh, the one that says ghosting and eternity. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Are you gonna... Jump scare me? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, there's gonna be a Kool-Aid man coming to the wall. Like you're gonna be into me, be like, ah! Oh, like they're gonna dump the bucket on my head. That could that could also happen. There's a universal amount of possibilities that could happen. Oh, you're leaving it open. I'm, I'm okay. Now I'm tense, but okay, keep going. Jesse. Yes. How are you feeling right now at this moment? I feel good. A little bit of chaos, but I feel good. Yeah, things are nice. And uh, how would you uh, explain this event? How would you describe it? So the Living Artist Gallery is like, uh, it's like a pop-up kind of ordeal of um, street artists from all over uh, New York and uh, mostly. And um, they, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's a collective of artists. It's just a collective of artists that want to show their art in, in physical spaces. And uh, are you an artist? I am an artist. So my sh those are my shirts. So uh, here. You got some really cool photographs. Thank you. Yeah, mine's downstairs. It's not related to the spaghetti, but yeah. No, I love the photographs. <laughs> Thank you. And it's basically a way to uh, get people to see my work yeah. in a democratized way, right? So, um, like, the street is, like, democratized art. Like, no one can give you permission to put it up. No one can just tell you, like, you can't do that. So you're free to do whatever you want. And they can take it down, but, like, it's easier to just say, oh, sorry, but, you know, no one's going to tell you don't put it up. Right. So... That's what I like about street art because you can just kind of get out there and show your work in oh, whatever yeah. way you want and no one will stop you. So it's very accessible, it's very easy, and I think it's the most wonderful thing in the world. And so the culture behind it is very cool because you know you have people from all over the world doing this. It's not just New York City, so you can send your work to someone else and they'll put it up in another city and they'll do the same for them. So you know people from all over the world without even going to that city. And it's just like a very special community that like I've kind of fallen into. You said it best, community. Yeah, it's a community. It is a community. Living Artist is a community, yeah. All right, nice meeting you.
excuse me, sir. What's your name? My name's Steve. And can you tell me about your outfit? I don't know. I made this, and then I just uh, tried to match everything. Say, dude. Yeah. Congrats, congrats. Oh, no. What's up? What's up? What's good? What's up? This is your this is your art. Yes. Snacks with the with the wrong finger with his ring finger over that. You know the peace sign. And um, what can you say about your art? Uh, I try and I don't know. I try and make funny things. Uh, I have this one character named Snacks who's purple. Uh, always up to mis mischievous shit in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> and um, how's your experience so far here in this uh, venue? I think it's dope. I think it's cool that there's a weed shop upstairs and you just come downstairs and there's just all this art. Uh, cool people, you know, cool vibes. It's all dope. And uh, last question, what do you like about this area? Ooh, this is actually like my third, second time in this area. I grew up in the Lower East Side, um, but down here is pretty dope. Uh, by the water, beautiful views of New York. So, yeah. No, this is butt suck with parking. <laughs> Um, Don't ask me any hard questions. No, no, these are very open ended questions where they are open to interpretation. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Soraya. And uh, who are you here to see, or why are you here? I'm here to see Hugus. This is his uh, piece right here. Wait, 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 show me. We got some signature style, it's artwork style. And um, and what do you what do you like about uh, Hugus's art? I like the character, like all the way. And it's kind of like Mario theme. Sorry, I'm like super close to the camera. No, it looks good. Everything looks good. What about you? Wait, can I ask you? You want? Yeah, you want the camera? Talking about you, you might as well be here. All right. Okay. The artist, the man behind the masterpiece. And uh, what 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 can you say about your art? I just gotta say that my art is to um, just out there colorful for people to enjoy. They have a lot of stuff for people to look at. I want that people submerge in there and actually explore all the little things in the back and the front. Just like something very personal, like style. Say that. Yeah. I like the layers. Yeah, man. So like, I started spray painting these. And then I outline it with the uh, Posca markers, like bring it out a little more. Yeah. And I just add the characters in the back and like. And the the, the question of the night is, how did you get the sign? Um, that's off camera, but <laughs> I found it on the street and took it home and we just put it apart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Department of Transportation. Thank you, Department of Transportation, for your. Uh, Charitable efforts to this art show. Thank you, man. Yo, pleasure's mine. Thank you, thank you, Soraya, for being the camera. I'll take this now. Everybody in the comments say thank you, Soraya.
cameras, trust me. It's very good cameras, man. See, let me show you one photo. Whoa, that's crispy. Oh my god, those colors. The Canon R is the best one for photos. Dude. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here in the bodega on Domino Park. At Domino Park. Tell me a little bit about your uh, your experience with, with cameras. Uh, my experience with cameras is the best. I've been doing this for like years right now. Yeah. I graduated from high school with photographing for four years. And I'm a photographer now. Photographing and weddings photographer. What's up, boss? Yeah. And uh, what do they call you? What, what do you go by? What's your name? My name is AK Money. And, and you can follow me on Instagram called Abu Ali Al Yamani. This is my Instagram. You can follow me. You do it. But and you can follow me. We do weddings. I do for uh, personal photographing, baby showers, birthdays, and all these stuff. You can hit me up, and it's a good prices. We are a team of five people. We show up to weddings. We charge best prices. We use Canon R for photographing, Sony S7 for filming. We got, we got drones, we got a lot of equipment we show up with uh, to the wedding or to the party or to the personal photographic. That could follow me up. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, brother. Very well said. Okay. Okay. Advertising for everybody. Advertising Whoa, for everybody. Whoa, that's really a lot going on there. What is it? <laughs> oh, uh, you like the setup? You like the setup? Don't get too close. <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am here with the wonderfully beautiful, oh so talented Jessica. And uh, Jessica, how are you feeling uh, today, right now? Feeling liberated and, and very crispy clean. It's got a ni nice breeze in the air. <laughs> You're right, I did notice it. Yes. It's very uh, fresh. Yes, very fresh. Nice fresh. And clean. In fact, tomorrow marks the first day of the fall equinox, I want to say, the 23rd. Ooh, we made it. 23-23. Cheers to that. Not with water, I'm Sicilian. Yeah. Salud. <laughs> salud. Salud a la salud. And salud a toda la gente en otros países. Wow, mira, wow. That was fancy. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing that in the mirror. Yeah, good. <laughs> and um, how, are you, how was your experience at the science show? It was really cool. It's nice to see a lot of fellow artists that you recognize putting up their cool signs. And it's really neat. So so much creativity in one little place. I love it. Here at Mary Jane Shop. Life is all signs. Facts. Would you agree? I agree. And you sometimes have to read the signs. True. Like the flags, the green flags, the red flags. And sometimes if you don't, you can go off course and crash. And that's the importance of science to me. It's, it's previous knowledge. Yes. Showing you a better way forward. Okay. And that's how I feel with uh, all the people that I meet at these art shows. Mm -hmm. Just like little bits of wisdom from everybody. True. And you know, it, it creates a, a very inspirational uh, effect on me specifically. Oh yeah? But that's just me, personally. Okay. Heard. But yes, we are here at Sarah Mary Jane's shop with Jessica and Steve. <laughs> All right, uh, what's up, everybody? I'm here with Michelangelo, aka Angel, or vice versa. <laughs> And how's your experience at the science show? So far, it's, it's good, man. I got to see a good friend of mine, you know? Which is, you know? What's up? And what's your name? Weston. Weston. Yeah. Yes. We played this morning, and we had a fun game. I haven't been home, which is pretty, pretty cool, I guess, right? You know? I was looking forward to come to this show, to see what's around here. You know, look at this guy, the group to my to my right. I said, I, what else can I say? I just saw Steve coming in. Yeah? So, yeah, man. It's a. Uh, it, uh, how do you say? Um, 
<laughs> it feels good to be alive, man. <laughs> right? you know, it feels good to be alive with, yeah. with these great people around me, man. Right? Yeah. Cut it out. <laughs> no, but uh, you were at Sorry Henson, right? Yeah, we meet you outside, and you're like, we are in between Leo and Alberto, and this is Leo, and that's how I remember it. Alana. Alana. I'm a Virgo. I'm a full on Virgo. So you your birthday just passed? Yeah. Carrie. Oh. Well, you put on a good one. You had good jokes that night. Really good. Alright, let me start off with the art. In the shoe. And the artist. My name is Renda Ryder. And uh, Renda, tell me about your piece. Uh, this piece here is basically um, a sign that I found off of Biscayne Boulevard in Miami, Florida. It said, warning, parking for ID Art customers only. ID Art was an art supply store, and there was three of these signs in a dumpster. So I blacked everything out except the word art and warning, added the love, added the drips, which came down perfect. And fell perfect. That's how it's that. That is 222. Incredible. How's your experience so far here at the science show? Pretty good. I, I like shows like this. I like group art shows because it gives you a chance to see who's in the art community and be a part of the art community. So that's usually why I come to them. And then if I sell a piece, that's a bonus. But even if I don't, I'm here. You know? Hear you, hear you. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Banco. And uh, Banco, uh, what do you like about Williamsburg? Oh, I think this is kind of the start where I was raised for about two years of my life, uh, running around, you know, in my diapers. It's kind of where I really was solidified in New York City. Um, I think this will always be home out of every other portion of Brooklyn, um, out of every borough of the city. I think Williamsburg is always that like comfort zone for me. And uh, are you an artist yourself? Yes, I am a painter. I kind of do mixed media on different things. Uh, my two things that I'm really known for is my cartoon characters, which is about uh, interracial relationships. And the second thing, which I absolutely love in my business is called Cherapy. Um, I love to paint on chairs where people just get to sit on artwork.